Hello coffee lovers and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at what goes into making a great shot of espresso. Now there are three main elements that go into pulling a great shot of espresso and they are grind, dose and distribution and tamping. Let's first off look at the grind. So guys, first thing I want to talk to you about is the grind and also the coffee. I mean, more importantly, you have to start with really good fresh roasted coffee. So if you're currently just buying your coffee from the supermarket, I would really recommend you watch uh, a few episodes of Grind On Demand and find a coffee that you think sounds great to you and buy some freshly roasted coffee. Once you've got that freshly roasted coffee, the really, really important thing to do is grind the coffee just before you're going to use it, okay? So, the way I explain this is uh, if you have pieces of fruit, they're gonna sit in a fruit bowl pretty well, um, but once you cut it up and make a fruit salad, there's going to be a lot more um, surface area for, the, for those pieces of fruit, and the air is gonna get to it very quickly. It's the exact same thing with coffee, but coffee's ground really, really fine, so there's even more surface area. Um, so that moisture in the air is really going to affect the uh, freshness of the coffee and it's going to start pulling the oils out of the coffee. So if you want the, the best cup, what you want to do is grind it just before you go to use it. Now remember, um, the one variable that we want to have in, um, in pulling a shot of espresso is our grind size. So we're going to adjust that as needed so that we can pull a really good shot. Now that we know the basics about grinding coffee, let's have a look at dosing and distribution and how they'll affect your shot of espresso. So the next thing we need to talk about is dosing and distribution, okay? So dosing refers to the amount of coffee that we have in the basket and we want to keep that really, really consistent. So um, if we're going to grind on demand, we need to come up with a little bit of a technique so that we can um, get the same dose consistently. To start off with, you might want to buy yourself a little uh, gram scale, so you can really make sure you've got that, uh, that dose very, very similar, if, if not exactly the same every time. Okay, the second thing we need to do is distribute the coffee really well. So, I'm going to show you my technique for distribution now. Okay guys, so I've just changed the camera angle just a little bit, so that you can see what I'm going to do. Now, normally I would dose, you know, if I was uh, working on the machine at work, I would be dosing straight into the portafilter, but because I'm at, I'm at home and I have a little bit more time, I'm going to weigh my dose as well. Just that extra level of um, consistency there, okay? So, what I'm going to do, uh, I was just grinding before, so we've got the freshly roasted coffee here, and I'm going to um, about three quarter fill this basket. Now, once I get about three quarter full, I'm going to just knock it down and settle it so we start to have an even distribution of the coffee. And then I'm going to fill this basket up. Okay, so we're at uh, 17.9 grams there, so I just need a little bit more coffee. Uh, remember, the recipe that I like to go with is uh, starting with 19 grams. Okay, so now we're a little bit over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my dosing tool here. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can just use the uh, flat side of a knife. Um, that's another technique. Now I'm going to chop this across so that we even out the coffee. And that'll help to get a nice even puck uh, when we go to 10. There we go. Now we've ground our coffee, we've dosed and distributed well. Now it's time to tamp the coffee. Now, a lot of people think when they're tamping that they have to really get their arm behind it and push down really, really hard. But the most important thing when you're tamping is to get that really nice, flat, even puck, okay? So, I've got my tamper here. And the most important thing when you're tamping is to tamp with a straight arm and to tamp with your whole arm. So don't just tamp with your wrist like this it's not going to be very even, okay? If you're having trouble tamping straight, you can use your thumb and your finger on the side of the tamper like this to help make sure you get a nice straight tamp. There we 
we go. Once you've got it nice and straight, just push down. As soon as you feel that resistance, you've tamped hard enough. Now you'll see some coffee coming up around the side. So all you need to do is put the tamper back on, give it a twist, and that'll polish it into the puck. This is um, Breeze, which is the seasonal um, summer blend for Jahar Coffee Works, um, and I'm one of the roasters for that company. So, what we should find in this coffee um, is nice, sort of bright, sweet acidity, um, balanced with some um, some kind of milk chocolate tones and that kind of thing. Sort of medium body coffee overall. So, if we've got the extraction right, we should see a nice balance of those things. Shall we begin? Yeah, that's going on. Um, we did design this blend um, with milk in mind, and it does really um, work well with milk, but it's great as a black coffee. And um, I've talked before on uh, Grind On Demand about how sometimes you can get different, different things out of coffees, uh, depending on how you brew it. And um, even if you're making a, a flat white versus a long black, um, and this coffee is great both ways. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, adjusting the grind because that's something I didn't have to do in this video. But if you have a, um, a shot that extracts too quickly, you need to fine up your grind. So if you think of it like a bucket of rocks or a bucket of sand, if you've got a bucket of rocks and you pour some water on it, um, there's going to be quite a few gaps so the water can move through quite uh, quickly. And if you've got a bucket of sand and you pour the water on that, obviously it's going to kind of absorb and, and slowly move through, but it might not even make it to the bottom of the bucket. Um, it's the same thing with coffee. So if your extraction is flying through, you need to make it more like the sand. Um, if your extraction is um, choking up completely or, you know, um, just a really, really slow extraction, then you're going to find that you need to make it a little bit coarser um, in order to quicken up and speed up that extraction. I'm going to show the uh, rest of this espresso. Repeat. So there you go guys, with those tips you should be able to pull some great shots of espresso. If there's another tutorial you guys would like, please put it in the comments below. If you haven't joined the Coffee Fusion community yet, remember we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, and you should subscribe to the YouTube channel. Remember, Coffee Fusion is bringing coffee lovers together.